Hello everyone, Zeno Zimmer here, and welcome more to Let's Play Star Wars Coder. I'm ready for a duel. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw over in this corner. A woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. <laughs> Bring some health. Show detail aims. There we go. One spring, two. There we go. Boom. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Ice is knocked out cold! Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. All right. Now with that, we've got two more opponents. Give me money. I'm ready for a duel. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a legend in the sport. A 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Mo! But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you the mysterious stranger. You just slowly chip away. Champion himself? Will the Wild Eye Wonder finally be unseated? Now we finally have one more opponent. Or do we? I'm ready to do it. Let's do it. Let's take him down. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your... Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the mysterious stranger. Twitch! 
is going to be really hard to deal with. More due to luck, apparently. Because apparently I'm going to be beating him in two hits. God damn it. There we go. Finally. Twitch is down. It's over. The fight is over. The Twitch's reign of terror is over. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion, the mysterious stranger. Now with that, that's all the challengers, right? Oh, if you thought it was that easy. So before we go, so we're going to challenge Starkiller, but before we do, let's talk about the name, Starkiller, I don't know how badass it sounds. That was actually going to be Luke Skywalker's last name, Starkiller. watching you on the dueling ring, not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches, and not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? Finally, fresh meat. Azur will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Yep, we're going to be doing a death match. And the name Star Killer was used again in a later Star Wars games. Star Wars. The Force Unleashed. The... You're good, stranger. Maybe even as good as Ben back in his prime. There's no shame in losing to you. But when you beat me, you made First, it was just Twitch I couldn't handle. Now it's you and Twitch. Pretty soon, there'll be another young hotshot clawing past me in the rankings. This game's been good to me, but my time is done. I need to get away from the duel rings for a while. Think things over. Goodbye, stranger. I wish you all the best. We also need to do that. Before we do anything, save. I'll save here and I'm going to be saving in the ring as well because honestly. Unirama no Pratatuncho, Sir Chatoma Toma. Lovely 
Pabrici, Kumana, King Konsashi King, Neken Kornogam Rilevati Kun, Wanda, yep, this is gonna be bloody. Chimbayamuli, Tunera Nanopwa, Chipeda Watabura, Tuana Tunera. All right, we have to just leave and come back. I believe if we could just exit and enter, then we'll save again. Oh my god. Part of me wants to just put it into solo mode, just so these guys don't get stuck again. Then go back in. Now we'll see if I can remember the trick to it. Because there's a trick to actually making Bandit Star Killer a joke. And that went the long way again. Why do I keep doing this? Save. So we don't end up need to go through that again. Because the deathmatch is the most dangerous one. Uchang yon torong chiwepa Ola onna chinneke Let's get on with the match Chibedua nani bobo Tunga mungsha nundang I'm ready Awanna wana kayot tango It's time Ladies and gentlemen Come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years. But we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match in this corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive, <laughs> out of retirement for one last battle, Bandic Star Killer! And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious stranger. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! No matter what, you get dark star side points. Honestly, don't worry about it. You can recover. Did you just say for Mandalore? Let's try to find where the... Okay, so first, poison. No wait, concussion. Poison. Oh, oops, I put two concussion grenades on. Whoops. Poison, that's fine. And the plasma grenade. God damn it. healing
And there we go. Ben takes down. Bendak is down. It's over. It's over. The fight is over. Bendak Star Killer is down. Bendak Star Killer is dead. All hail the mysterious stranger. The greatest duelist to ever grace the rings of Taras. I will say. Normally, Bendik somehow manages to dodge those. So, usually, I usually need more grenades. And Bendig, Bl Blaster, is actually really good. Okay, don't bother trying to power push. If you feel pr persuasion, don't bother. Yes, I'm famous. Now, let's look at that blaster. Bendix blaster. This is the second best blaster in the game. It's got one blaster that is better than it. I don't know why I'm equipping it. Uh, I would give it to Car, but there's a better user of it, of it later. And once they are around, we just utilize them for any blast affair. But now, let us go to the droid shop, which we haven't been to. Now that I think about it. Hmm. But now that we've killed Bendix Starkiller, I will say we don't fear anything on this planet. There is nothing that is going to be able to kill us, really. And we don't even need two saves anymore. Because I forgot to save in the match. The main problem with the fight, well I say problem, but it's more the main fear of the fight. Vassal, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage? <sighs> Don't want to talk. Come on, guys. This is new life. Hey, 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 don't get mad. My heart. Uh okay, we've got the serum, do we? So we need to give this. So you give it to you already? Are you in Yeah, no, I haven't. You have the serum? Impossible. How did you get this? No, can can I see it? The serum, I mean. I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quant. Here you go. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this is it. A cure for the rat ghoul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for every... The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I could afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. We can tell him to keep the reward. But we need the credits for now. So I appreciate everything you've done. There are many who would have sold the serum to the crime lord Davik for a much higher sum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh give me a moment. Yeah, we can just buy his bag for some reason. But it's not really useful. Uh, mind affecting might be useful. But not right now. Yeah, we've got 50 credits. It's a joke, but... Blow it! If you brought that Rat Ghoul Serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. No, you had to go and do the honourable thing. Shut up. 
I believe Zeiss gives you a lot of money, but it's not as much as you'd think. Besides, you're gonna get enough money. You don't need to worry. Especially if you get good at, uh... I almost said pod racing. No, it's the other type of racing. Swoop bike racing. If you get good at swoop bike racing, you don't need to worry too much about money. Uh, there we go. There's the droid shop. I know which droid I want. Granted. Chingpala, Niska Mule, Jun Rata Tigan Pot Drunk, with Tim and Bone Rank Thong, Mule Ra on Shad Touring Um Nip. And, anyways, I, as much as I would want to talk about this, let's just get on to the story. Look how dang ya foki! Chachiska do Punta Kavadumpa Kapalia Monapata, Bona Nakachu, Ying King, Okay, so we can Mule Ra Thong, Thong, Thong. Could do that, but that's not as mean. Fine. Kappa, topa no aska, chinisko ne akava abaka. T three and four has joined your party. Yeah, remember I said Carf was gonna be staying for very little. Yeah. Before you ask, this droid's junk. As soon as you get out of the store, it blows up. Don't bother buying it. Granted, I believe can canonically our character buys it because it appears in the second game. So our character bought it and did salvage it, which is hilarious to me. Oh, let's boost up constitution. Up your use. Security. We'll just boost up. Now, let's first talk about droids. Before we talk about T3. They have very little skills. As you already saw. We looped that quickly. And for the most part, they are for really utility. But especially T3, who isn't that great of a character in this game. But we'll get to talk about that later. Uh, we'll do that. So... T3. T3, because he's a droid, has unique equipment screens. And because he can't use grenades, he gets given special weapons. These are really good. Sadly, T3 isn't that amazing minus on two plu plu two planets. And in fact, we won't be using him for that long on Taris. Cause literally, we bring him here. And that's all he's needed for. At this point. You could technically I'm here. give him away. Away and bring someone else in. But we're gonna go in with T3 because he will help us immensely. K 
Kava Dumpa Kapalia Monapata Bonanakachu Yin Kin Kun no Ba Mule Rachi Kun Tong Nabun Shanu Yang Fifty credits is nothing, so it's like fine. Chingpala niska mule or tun rata tigin po drunko. The search at doma wana kunda tama. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Wanga kum kiba bu mule ra, kakin chak nawa gawa bakon. Donk kiba nukunek. Stop talking and get out. Now, let's open. And our first dealing of the set. And also first use of lightsabers. Lightsabers have a random chance in this game of actually, well, deflecting blasts. You know, fake lightsabers are known to do. I don't know why I was checking for Foot Locker so long away. I'm here. Slight computer. First. Upload area schematics. Take turrets offline. We don't have enough. Elevator. Oof, we need more. Because we don't have enough computer spikes. What can I do? Great, now we can actually at least talk about the other. The other thing about T3. Because he's a droid, he can use med packs. Well, technically, he can, but they don't do anything. You need repair packs. With those, you can actually do quite a bit. Now we open this. As we sure. Because he's not as good, we best I'm just here. to remove it. Awareness, tree injury, powers, disable droid. I keep pressing the wrong one, but thankfully. <laughs> oh, I did it again! Ah! See when you get back to this. And back. Yeah, I'm starting to just up, just to level up T3 this time first. Just so I don't accidentally upgrade, level up my character. How do I get you out? Okay. A bit of a weird program, but hey. Uh, this is how we do it. 
Very simple. Jawara bota ayu ta honga cha kanki dora. Kachi ku ita hodonga. Topa da bon kwa yakando do na no chuchu. Musha pa pa bola wa chikne. Jiska do suki ku ba na bon. Like say points. Let's first open this because this gives us some extra stuff that might help. Rusted Sentry, but we're not going to do anything with him. Actually, I think we can actually, because we do have some. Yeah, we do have some repair parts. You know what? Let's do it. Leave it alone. What can I do? Also talk about the bar. What can I do? The bar on Basil is called the Force Bar. Uh, Rise and Epi. Force points. <laughs> mm. Using force decreases force points, obviously, and you can probably tell. It naturally goes up on the own. So <laughs> Come on. Come on, Basila. Really, Basila? Really? Sadly, droids are not affected by the force. Boot locker. Okay, I'm so here. before we do anything, T3, first repair yourself. That should be enough. Oh, there's some more remains. But that's good because. We do need to check into these terminals. Once again, however, I saved up the spikes, ISIS commands, take turrets offline. Return to boot, elevator. Disable assault, assault droid shield. Because that's the most important thing. Because that thing is a nightmare. Otherwise, we'll come back to try and see if we can open that later. Because now, we don't have to worry too much. We can open all these doors. Even if we can't disable these. We'll just go through all these. A flamethrower and a shield disruptor. What can I do? Taking so long. Pasta. Before you ask, you can't turn back on, nothing happens. Mm. 
this is the last door, so we can get it. Sif base pass card. I'm here. Fair. I'm here. Now the last check. Now we meet a pseudo boss. This thing. We're locked in. We only have one thing we can do. Disable it. Good. Yeah, quick, 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 quick death. I don't know why you can target the transformer. I mean, we can bash it, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think I know. They were expecting you to probably to attempt to sneak by it if you. For those who want to attempt to sneak by it. Uh, before we go, we finally get to our first real boss. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a force adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. We Sith, however, have learned to embrace the potential of the dark side. It is what gives us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. It is as he sounds. This guy so technically is a dark Jedi. Uh, yep, she he can throw us. He can freeze us. Bastel is the only one that can really take care of this guy. Yes. <sighs> really? God damn it. Want to take what's in here? Taris launch codes. So we need to actually beat, beat him to get this. 
Endure Steel Bonding, Light Battle Armor. Enchanty. Yeah, Light Battle Armor. Nothing else is really great. I can give the Bredrick's Arm. Oh yeah, I've got to give a computer probe to you. Under shield level 2. If you never blast her, why not? Yes. What? Because I don't like seeing the droids weakened. Ah, <sighs> but with that, we have one big thing to do, and that's ignoring ring stealing the epic. The Ebon Hawk. Yes, that's right. We have to claim our bounties. For serious papers? Well, why didn't you say so? Hmm. Because you didn't let me. Seems to be an... Just be careful down there. Yes, I know. I've done this before. Well, that's what we'll do to end the episode. Is we'll end the episode meeting Davik. Davik Kang. Javier's cab cantina and let us get our money. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So, what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base. And right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. I have a few things to take care of first. Fair enough, but don't take too long. As soon as you're ready to get inside Davik's estate, come speak to me. The sooner we get off this rock, the better. Yes, I know. Okay, so it's this way instead. Zax! Give me my money, Zax! I got a bounty to collect on. Tell him about something. That's what business with you? I've got that to collect on. I'll be going now. Done. We'll collect it all we can. And no, I'm not gonna try and persuade her. I figured you'd be back. Not now, so what? Yes, I know. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Kandris has joined your party. We'll talk about Kandris next episode. But Kandris has a special seminary neck implant that regenerates minor wounds. He gets regeneration battle. We want Basilophus 
we need a Jedi with us for this. It'll make things so much easier. Summon me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Man. Whew, chills. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Project to learn that double crosses tend to be dead. Important lesson to learn, no doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. With the recommendation from Candrus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Even though we don't want to, it's best to say this. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. I've only just realized he's got a bit of an Italian accent. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. I'm looking forward to working with you, Davik. Stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, 
Or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Huh? And that's how we end off the episode. Seeing Kandris, the Mandalorian, on our side. An evil guy. But loyal. This is Zeno and Zimmer, signing out.